hii tutoke all the way from Bongo twende nje ya nchi kidogo tukasurvey huko nchini Nigeria ambako inasemekana kwamba Burner Boy na timu yake wanahusishwa kwenye uh, sakata fulani hivi la kupigia na risasi yani siwezi kusema mauaji kwa sababu mtu aliyepigwa risasi hajafa kwa bahati nzuri amepona sasa kuna watu ambao wanasema gang ya Burner Boy imekuwa inahusishwa sana kwenye mauaji kwenye hizi hizi uh, night club mbalimbali ambazo wamekuwa naenda kiperform. Sasa bwana watu wanasema kwamba au chanzo kinasema kwamba huo ugomvi ambao umezuka hapo na huyo mtu mpaka kupigwa risasi ni kuhusiana na mwanamke. Aha uh-huh, kama ulikuwa ujui basi ndio hivyo kwamba huo ugomvi ni kuhusiana na mwanamke so bana boy anahusishwa na hicho kitu moja kwa moja kwamba gang yake imekuwa inafanya matukio kama hayo sio mara ya kwanza sio mara ya pili wakienda kwenye night club moja basi lazima wapigane na watu wakienda kwenye night club nyingine lazima wapigane na watu and so far chanzo kimoja ambacho kipo karibu sana na mtu ambaye amepigwa risasi kinaeleza kwamba um, mtu huyo huyo mtu ambaye aliwachukua i mean huyo mtu aliyochukua ndugu zake hawa au marafiki zake kuwatoa pale kuwapeleka kwenye night club hiyo lakini baada ya muda alisikia mlio wa risasi ambao baadaye alikuja kugundua kwamba rafiki yake huyo ndo amepigwa risasi walichokifanya wakaamua kumchukua na kumkimbiza hospitali ili kuokoa uhai wake lakini ikaonekana kwamba anahitajika ku ongezewa damu na kwa bahati mbaya watu ambao walikuwa karibu pale hawakuweza kumongezea damu kwa sababu group zao na group ya yule mtu aliyopigwa hazikufanana and so far wanasema kwamba kitu ambacho kilisaidia sana ile risasi simu uwe jamaa ni kwamba kulikuwa na iPhone yani simu okay kulikuwa na simu ambayo iliwekwa pale kwenye mfuko wake so ilipopigwa risasi ile simu ilizuia na simu inaonekana kama unavyoiona hapo juu simu imeathirika zaidi kuliko uenda hata mwili wa mtu uenda hiyo risasi ingepenya moja kwa moja uenda labda tungekuwa tunazungumzia mambo mengine right now so kupitia uh, chanzo kimoja huyu mtu anasema my guy came to Niger from England to and uh, USA respectively for a wedding i invited them out to club Cuban and Panty uh, with brother boys people are uh, cause of a, of a woman and making black eh? the next the next thing bullets started flying one got scratched in the head by a bullet and the other one got shot in the leg so alipigwa lisasi mbili as you can see kile ambacho anakiongelea lakini um when anasema when we rushed we rushed him to the nerve medic center they say they had no blood and he need 3.0 plus blood they say none of us can donate because we had been drinking from the club and then my friend started to shake on the hospital bed like he was losing his life and then and like kusema kwamba two good samaritan soldiers then offered then offered to give a pint of blood each which uh was then used to stabilize him the doctor said the iphone in his pocket which the bullet went through slowed down the bullet making it less pointer the iphone saved his life so kama anavyosema hapa kwamba um iPhone ambayo aliweka mfukoni mwake imeokoa maisha ya jamaa kwa sababu ile risasi ilivyopigwa haikwenda moja kwa moja directly kwenye mwili ilipiga kwanza ile simu. So, ile simu ndio ilidhurika zaidi kuliko mwili wa mtu. Lakini pia uh, naomba kukosoa hapa anasema kwamba walishindwa ku donate damu kwa yule rafiki yao kwa sababu walikuwa wamekunywa sana. Uh, si, sijui kama maybe kwenye uh, upande wa kiafya pia hairuhusiwi kumchangia damu mtu kama umekunywa nyo sana lakini hicho ndicho ambacho anasema kwamba medical center walisema hivyo so sisi ni nani tukatai so bonya boy na group yake wanashutumiwa kwamba wamefanya hicho kitu